If you're running devils in your game and you're not being vindictive, you're doing it wrong. Hello everyone and welcome back down here to the Gamer's Den with me, your host, Jordan, your Master of Lore and Storyteller Extraordinaire. And I'm giving myself a little bit of a buffer today, doing a quick tips for DMs instead of changing fantasy cultures, but today we are talking about Batazu. Devils, those lawful evil outsiders that have been terrorizing players, their NPCs, and various other critters for generations now. And we're talking about them today because while there's no wrong way to play a game to run things i mean really if you're having fun that's the long and short of it and that's the where every topic and angle of this discussion could end i still feel that there's a number of groups and dms out there that don't run them quite right but before we get into exactly how and why, if you're new here to the channel, then go on down there to hit the subscribe button and become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. Or if you've already listed yourself on such a legendary roster, then go on down to hit the like button and share the video far and wide. But now let's get back to talking about the devils. So when it comes to devils, they're lawful evil, and particularly with Batazu, they are hierarchical, structural, organized, so they intelligently plan and they go through every single last meticulous detail. Combine this with the fact that several of them are centuries to millennia old, they've been, they're old hands at this and they've been at this for a very long time. Now, your bottom rung, freshly made souls turning into devils are not going to be super bright. Uh, in fact, several of the lower ranking types of devils are not all that intelligent or bright. I mean, bearded devils certainly are terrifying in a fight, but they're not great thinkers or leaders. It's not really till you get to imps that, while physically weak, have the sophistication, charm, charisma, and the emo uh, intellectual capacity necessary to begin actively damning souls. Uh, that's not, that's about the, the, when you start to see that start to happen. And so, Devils, when they plan things out, they are vindictive when those plans go awry. They don't like seeing things come apart because things going awry means that they look bad. And looking bad means their superiors have a reason to quash them, to demote them, to put them down. Because every devil is looking for promotion and advancement. And more often than not, promotion and advancement means taking somebody ahead of you out of the line. So... Any, any superior in the Batazu hierarchy is uh, that's worth their salt is going to be looking to push down those uh, underlings that are showing promise, while at the same time still keeping them around just long enough that they look good and look like they know how to manage things and remain useful. You gotta be pretty good at your job in order to uh, uh, be advanced, but if you're too good, that devil's superior is also going to look to quash them somehow. So looking bad is very very bad in fact the only thing that uh uh devils fear more than oblivion is demotion so definitely says something there and that should tell you what's going to happen to adventurers that manage to throw a wrench into their plans and you should be running your devils very 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 vindictively and evilly this is your chance to go full gygax on your players just absolutely hammer home how awful these creatures are and you can do that by about say you know you start off on a normal chain a little bit of cult or banded activity they work their way through they find this hidden base this little cow carved out of this uh, cavern network they go through and they start clearing things and they start finding oh these things these guys are working with outsiders these awful terrible things maybe the players succeed on their arcana check maybe they don't but uh, thing is, is that they're stumbling into a devil's uh, long-term operations and disrupting it. So when things go awry and the players upend this hideout, the devils are going to use their innate ability to teleport away, to get away from everyone, and typically go somewhere outside, probably close by, and see what information they can gather about the people that just started picking things apart and if they can if there are pack animals left outside animal companions steeds any npcs that are friendly with the players they're going to kill them all or those that they can't um, those that are able to relay information they're going to kidnap them and 
get information out of them any way, shape, or form that they can. That sounds harsh, that sounds cruel, but remember, the devil made you do it in this case. So, that's my advice for running Batuzu. Be vindictive, be evil. This And what this does is that this shows you that these are opponents on a different, significantly different level. And should throw something intense and terrifying at your players, because can't tell you how many times my players just glom on to random NPCs, different animals, different critters. Hell, they're walking around with whole on menageries or Pokedexes uh, with all these different things that they accrue. So this can be a good way for you to thin out the herd and kind of hit the players in a new place in a new way and twist the knife a little to make it hurt a little bit. But that little bit of hurt is going to invest them in seeing these beings be brought down low. There's nothing like having somebody kick the uh, audience's favorite character while they're down to really, really set them against that person. But what do you think? Go on down to the comments below and let me know your thoughts. Did you like today's video? Did you dislike it? Let me know either way. Hit those like or dislike buttons. And remember, if you're new here to the channel, then go on down to hit the subscribe button. But with all that said, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so very much for your time, and you all have yourselves a good night.